This is Uncharted Drake's Deceptive Fortune, one of the only Uncharted fan games ever made, and I'm going to show you all about it. This is a complete recreation of the Settlement chapter from Uncharted 3, but reimagined as an Uncharted 1 style jungle. The level assets and visuals were put together by Anime Boy, and I did all the animation and gameplay. So it starts off with Nathan Drake being lost, not knowing where he is, and he has no ammo, so we have to just push forward and figure out what is going on here. And soon, once we go through this path here, you'll discover that it is a lot like some place we've already been before. So Nathan Drake is once again stranded with no weapons, so we have to do this cover attack. And then we can pick up our first gun and I'm going to slink over here. We've got sticky cover and everything, so I'm going to kill this guy. I mean, I'll try to. <laughs> and we can pick up the weapons they drop. So I'm going to pick up this AK-47 because it's the most handy weapon for this level. And take care of these guys. So you can actually like stick to cover and move around like you would Uncharted. It's not 100% accurate to the gameplay but it's coded in a way that will work in dreams on PlayStation 4 and 5. Let's take care of this last guy, take his ammo, and we have climbing. Uh, this climbing <laughs> system is not perfect, but uh, it works somewhat. And here we have treasures. Treasures were made by random people from the dream of us on dreams. So this is an elephant that was just made golden, and once we come down here, Nate starts to remember this situation from uh, when he was in the settlement in Uncharted 3. So I'll take care of these guys here. Might punch him. There we go. <laughs> He's kind of trapped in the rubble. Anyway, once we go through here, and then we get a little in-game cutscene of the man running down and then shooting the pillar below you just like they did in the actual game. So we're gonna take care of this guy. There we go. And then we do the same thing as him. We shoot the pillar and it falls down and then we begin the climbing. So you can climb diagonally. You can climb like downwards diagonally. It's like, I, I tried a lot to make it work quite well. It's not 100% perfect, but it, it does the job basically, but yeah, so we go up here, take care of this guy, and then we get to the sniping segment. There's a big change in this area. I did not include grenade throwbacks, so if you have grenades thrown at you, the gameplay is completely changed up because you can't do the same thing as Uncharted 3, which apparently the grenade throwback no, not even Amy Henning knows why it's, it was included in the game because it negates the entire purpose of flushing you out of cover. So I thought it was interesting to not include that and remake this level because it changes the way you fight. Anyway, there's some more guys spawning. And you can either take care of them or you can be a, a little scaredy boy and you can just leave immediately. So he sidles through this here, and then we start the next part of the level. So I'm going to get some ammo here. This is a little different. There's a cool little like lake view here. Nice view. And if you try to go down there, it just tells you it's a dead end. If I didn't put that in there, people would probably try to <laughs> jump in the lake. But yeah, uh, Nathan Drake's starting to realize where he is. So this is the big set piece of the level with the turret truck. And I'm going to change it to... Oh, it's on easy good because uh, I don't want to be here forever. But yeah, you knock down the pillars and try to knock down the truck. And if they throw a grenade, I'm pretty much screwed. So it's different here. It knocks into a tree and the tree starts to fall down. I thought if I'm going to change up anything, I guess I can change this up. And now we have to survive the rest of the random goons. I'm going to throw a grenade here. Hopefully it gets that guy. There we go. A little cover animation. Let's kill this dude. 
it's a bit easier than Uncharted because if you run around not in cover, it's not as hard to die. I might update that in the future. So cover is much more important. But yeah, let's get this guy. There we go. Tree falls down and then knocks the truck down. A little different from what it was, but Nathan Drake is starting to realize, well, he's already realized that he's been through this before. But here's when it's going to get really different. Nathan Drake expects to meet Salim, but when we climb out of here, a little cutscene will start, and it'll actually have your current inventory in the cutscene. I thought that was a nice touch, but anyway, Nathan Drake expects a bunch of soldiers. But instead, he starts to notice something in the distance. What is that? What is that? And it turns out, it's a clicker. I tried to think of a different way to finish this level, and my friend, I think Kempi, suggested The Descendants, since it's Uncharted 1. But I thought, what if I use clickers? And here's what happens if you get killed. I'm going to show this off. I made a little animation where he bites his neck out. Yeah, so anyway, use, all you have to do is just survive a wave of clickers. And Nathan Drake will start to go a little crazy and the screen will it, it's kind of like the drug trip from uncharted 3 as this is uncharted 3 but yeah so we just got to take care of these guys there we go kill this one hopefully i don't get killed by one from the side i almost got killed oh good thing i put a lot of respawning ammo pickups we'll get them with the shotgun there we go there we go, and last one. And then Nathan Drake starts to realize he's just having a nightmare. This is all a dream. Uh, a big meta since this is made in dreams. So he wakes up, and then that was Uncharted Drake's deceptive fortune. I probably... Th this is one of my most proudest game recreations. And you can play it too on PlayStation 4 or 5 in dreams. Thank you for watching, I hope for even more Uncharted fan games to come in the future.